I feel like for me, your music is almost like being tucked into a warm sunset, and I feel like that captures the mood this video. So I'm always so interested in the cross pollination of music and art and and how they inspire one another. So tell me what like your process is as a creator and, and how you like your desire to create this and, and all of that. Oh yeah, I think it's all the same thing for me. I've been trying to explain it without words and then I just kind of like I make this like jerk off motion but towards the center of my rib and it's like <laughs> and like that's how it feels but I'll do it I'm like oh, oh, this is a song but it's like or this is like a picture but it's like, so it, yeah it feels the same emotionally for me <laughs> And it has like a very nostalgic element. So were you making this back at home this summer, like when everyone's locked down, or like how did that come to be? Um, yeah, I realized I wanted to spend more time with my family. And I think it's kind of tricky to do that as an adult. Um, like you go home for like maybe holidays or birthdays or something that's really like tradition and this and that. But I was like, oh, when's the most fun times we've had is like creating something together. So this film was part of um, like a bigger sh show that I had where I made some sculptures with my mom. Cause I was like, I, was like, I wanna hang out with my mom, but I want us to like be here now. But also I wanted to see what it was like to go back to my favorite kind of hanging out with my mom, which is like making stuff together. Um, which I don't get to do much anymore. Um, this was mostly recorded in 2000, so when I'm holding the camera, I'm nine. <laughs> um, but weirdly, I'm like, oh, I'm that guy still. And I thought that was funny, too. Yeah, to show. kind of amazing. Like, you have such a great eye, even as a nine-year-old. <laughs> and so it's, like, kind of funny, like, going back to, like, watch you as a nine-year-old and, like, now you as a woman. And what do you think like your creative evolution has been like? It looks like I'm regressing. <laughs> um, but I'll take it. Like I was like, oh, I fuck with this guy. Um, yeah, it's very pure. It's like very open. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I like her. <laughs> She's also like 88 years old in the way that she talks. She'll be like, well, and your room is messy too. And very well. I only have one minute left. She's like stressed and, and <laughs> has anxiety and is kind of, I think, like when the Zoom goes off and she's like, oh, I have to get closer, I gotta get closer. She's like obsessed with being close to people, but objectively, I guess, because it's through the lens. And I'm like, oh, I can see how I'm always like using any sort of medium to get close, but with, with the distance or something. I kind of also love your fascination. I mean, since I've known you, you've always done covers, and a lot of what you're going to do tonight is like covers, and even covers of your own song. So, could you maybe like talk about like what inspired you in music and about other artists, and, and to always like maybe give your interpretation to something that already exists? Yeah, I don't know why I have to like insert myself into that. <laughs> um, I, maybe it's the way I grew up listening to music. Um, for sure. I just was always humming along and I guess everything that someone does is just like amplified through you and with your kind of experiences and it, I think it's a, a fun practice or exercise to be like, oh, this is like how I receive it and how it comes through my little lungs and my little bones and breath and stuff. I love the idea of um a creative ritual, right, as an artist, because I believe that there are some people that have really open channels and they're able to create. So could we talk a little bit about your process and, and how you do that and maybe to inspire other people to like open their own channels? Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> do drugs? <laughs> Call your mom? Uh, I don't know, no, I have no idea. I, th I feel like sometimes if it's like a tap that I can't turn off and it's like a little bit annoying, but I like guess it's a part of the practice to try to stay open. I don't know. I don't know how to 
Stop it. Stop. <laughs> yeah, I would. If, do you have any? Does anyone have any? <laughs> Please turn his thing off. <laughs> drugs. <laughs> drugs. <laughs> Other drugs. Exactly. Um, I'd love to open it up to the audience for a few questions. It's a little dark out there, but don't be shy. <laughs> yeah. Even the white shirt. Yep. Um, I would love to know how you feel about the idea of like how you are different and similar to the Kaya that filmed all that footage. How you feel similar and diff different to her? Oh yeah. <laughs> well, I guess when going through it, I realize all the similarities. I know now that I can maybe film something or make something. Uh, and it does make me feel close. I guess it's the first time I was like trying to connect with my family in a very like objective way. Um, and now I know that, or like I want to zoom in that way still. Like I, I want to make it my practice. It's like how I learn and love and everything. Is that an answer? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else? Yeah. Had you um, watched that footage before? Like, it, since you had recorded it, or...? Um, yeah, my mom showed some of it to me, I think, two years ago. Uh, and it's before I got it di digital, dig digitized. digitized. Uh, ESL. Um, and I was like, wait, what the fuck was that? And so we, we looked through it again because it, it felt really fitting to the rest of the show, which was, yeah, the little soft sculptures I made with my mom. And yeah, I decided to go from there. But it was just kind of like a little like, oh, I remember being like a weird adult nine-year-old being like, and this is my brother's room, and this is so fun. And it just felt fitting. Um, so I looked at it all again in 2021. Yeah. Anyone else? Yep. How much like footage did you have to go through? Like how did you like kind of edit that all together? Like was it a ton of stuff or was that kind of it? Um, it wasn't much. Okay. I, I think from the year there was only three VHS tapes. And that was like the only year you went from the last like So, so these are all of my brothers, and all the mask stuff is actually from when I had a Harina Zumi camera in 2015. He's like 12 years younger than me. So the guy who's like, he's, he's like the young one, and, and that's from a different time, but the rest is from 2000. And yeah, that was, it wasn't much. But my mom has been pretty good at taking pictures and filming all the way through, which is awesome. sweet. Yep. Did you have the film camera lying around, or is that something you like asked for, like, asked your parents for? I think it's like that guy, when my mom is like, hey, you should go watch this guy play guitar, because I'm like annoying everyone upstairs. Um, I think he brought it and then sent it. Um, to my mom at some point, so we didn't have the camera. So it's a little special moment of that day. Yeah. Yeah, in the back. So it feels like for most of your music videos, you're talking about two different kayas, like the twins. Oh, yeah. What does it feel like to be one kaya? I don't know, I would love to ask her. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. I think it's hard because. I'm, I do feel like one Kaya, but once it's something that's like shown or a, a different time or something, I kind of disassociate from that Kaya really fast. From like, um, once I'm on the screen, I'm like, oh, she. For some reason, I'm like, ah, ah, eh. but I, um, I think that's maybe just like a healthy space for me, because I work a lot with my own body to not like look at myself and judge myself as much. It's just like, oh, this like, I kind of objectify myself in a weird way. I'm like, oh, this guy, you know, <laughs> this fella. 
<laughs> I kind of love that idea, though. Does that take away like the self criticism? Like, are, are you able to like create as an artist and then just leave it out there without like judging the self almost? Yeah, I think that's. I mean, <laughs> I do have some a tiny little bit of self criticism in me still, but um, I need to be able to be like, oh, it it's like birthed another she out of me and that person gets to live and be seen whereas I like I'm kind of protected that's just like the little output of that I kind of love that idea like birthing artwork and treating it like a little child and being so kind to it I think so many of us are like hung up on like you know criticizing ourselves all the time and it's really hard to create sometimes so that's like kind of a beautiful way to to feel about your own art yeah, well, I think the the release and birthing and letting go is also like, yeah, well, someone can just, like, choose to adopt that baby, but then also be like, I'm going to just throw you in the garbage now and fuck with you at all. <laughs> but it's not about me anymore, so I'm just like, yeah, I fucking throw the baby in the garbage. And that's like, <laughs> it feels better somehow. Like, it's a distance. It's separated. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. And you work in so many different <laughs> mediums. Is there one medium that resonates with you more? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know, I like the putting your hands together, I think like film definitely have all, all of the, the, nice, the nice things, you got the sound, you got the image, you got the sound of the image, <laughs> <laughs> it's moving, <laughs> um, I fuck with that heavily. I love that, well, let's hear some music. Okay, I'm gonna make, not make you some time for the place. Thanks, guys.